plastic in my room When I prayed for this life to come true Now I ride up the hills and the oops With the cool mid-June knowing we cannot lose Hello everyone, it is Victoria Breeze for us here today Back at again with another video for you guys And in today's video, I will be discussing whether the snowy owl is worth it How long it actually took me and, you know, just some tips and tricks to make the process go a lot smoother and a lot quicker. So without any further ado, let's just get right on into it. By the way, um, I just noticed that my good friend Corinne uh, did a video on the same subject. So if you guys want, like, even more detail on how to start getting this and everything, link will be in the description down below. Go check it out. So I took notes from start to finish um, every single time I was on the game to do this. I really tried to do it just like consistently and not quit. So I was up all night trying to finish this. However, doing the math, it took me approximately eight and a half hours consistently to actually get this owl, which is not that bad. And I have a little tip to actually get it quicker, like literally than less than 24 hours. So first and foremost, tip number one is going to be grab a snack and make sure to pee before you start. Um, and even just like turn on some Netflix, YouTube. I was watching Skincare by Hiram, but that's just me. Um, because you're going to want to be cozy and comfortable. That is if you're like me and just want to sit through and like get your grind on to actually get this snowy owl. Tip number two, in my opinion, would be to go to the Winter Village as soon as you can and collect that 1200 horse xp because that's definitely going to give you a little bit more of a boost to make things just go a little bit quicker not by much but just a little bit my third tip is literally just click 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 if you can see in these clips i'm literally just i'm not wasting any time i've done these quests like five times over again like i just want it to be done with so i mean unless you would like to just be nostalgic and enjoy the quiz the quests go be my guest. However, if you want to make this process as quick as possible, literally just, if you missed it, just hit the log, read what it said, and, you know, figure it out from there. At least that's what I did. Tip number four would be to call for pickup as much as possible. If you're, like, literally you, like, ran to, say, Fort Pinta, but you need to go back to Moreland, just call for pickup. Anything in Moreland, you know, just quickly call for pickup instead of running there because it will save you just a little bit of time. Not only that, but take the trailer to places. Don't try and run. So, for instance, I will give you guys an example. Um, there's the quiz that, the quiz, why do I keep saying quiz? I don't know. But there's the quest to go to Fir Grove. Like, you have to run there and get, like, medicine from Felicity or soap or something. And instead of running all the way there, just take the trailer to Starshine Ranch. Like, I know when I started, that was never an option. Do that, and you're going to save yourself that much more time, you know? So, tip number five is if you're going to want to consistently grind, and these are in, like, no particular order. Sorry, I'm unorganized. I've been up for literally all night. Um, but tip number five is if you want to get it literally as soon as possible, so within like that eight hours, start doing the quests around four and a half hours before midnight because that should give you enough time to do all the quests for day one and then you're going to want to spend the night, finish those quests, and then it'll hit midnight, you log out, log back in, and all the quests that take like overnight should pop back up again and you should be ready to go and then you can just keep grinding with it and you'll get that owl in no time. Tip number six I believe we're on is if it's not literally like a yellow check mark to get XP for your character, do not bother doing like the races in the game because to me they're just kind of a waste of time and we're trying to grind here. We're trying to focus on like getting XP for our characters and not our horses. So that was just a little something that I kind of threw in there. Obviously you can do them if you want to, if you have the extra time, but I am inconsistent and I just wanted to get this over with. Tip number seven might be kind of obvious, um, but if you're doing quests in one area, try and focus in that area and get as many done as possible versus just like starting one with say Maya and just doing that one click all three of them through Maya and like go to Thomas get his to go to like Justin get his to get all of them in the same area and just do them consistently because that's going to take a lot quicker than going back and forth to the one character and then slowly moving to the next just go through all of them and then just knock them out one by one 
Tip number eight is don't even focus on reputation because that's really not going to matter in the long run. At least if you're like me and you're creating an alt, it, it doesn't matter to you. You just kind of want to get to level 10, right? And so a little thing is just don't get discouraged because it's very, very time consuming. But I'm good with stuff like that because I invest myself a thousand and ten percent or like not at all. So I was like, I enjoyed every single second of it, even if it was time consuming. But when you hit the quest with Sabine, that's when like you really start getting the XP and like you really start getting on a roll to get to level 10. Which I would also like to say, don't be like me. Apparently I live under a rock. Um, but I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna like get an alt account. And so I created it. And of course, me being me, um, I put in my credit card information to pay for a month's subscription. And I, it literally got blocked for fraud. For fraud. Not once, but twice. And I've never had that happen before in Star Stable. Uh, and then a good, you know, Instagram follower messaged me and was like, hey, uh, you actually get Star Rider free for three days. And I was like, really? So I didn't need to go through all that trouble because I had like a, a different video plan for this. It didn't work out. But yeah, you actually get three days free of Star Rider, which I had no idea about. So then the items that you are going to get on your alt account are going to be some boots, three apples, some gloves, a shirt, some pants a helmet, and a dog, which is a terrier, and it's literally just one from Fort Pinta for, excuse me, Fort Pinta, I like to say Fort Pinta, but it's one from there for 399 star coins, I believe, so it's nothing, like, extremely, like, out there or, like, wow, new, but, like, honestly, I feel like it's, a, it's, I wouldn't say it's necessarily worth it for how much you have to grind in order to get these items, because they don't even really have that good of stats, but I guess the dog makes it worth it. I guess it's really up to you and your opinion on it, but hey, if you wanted an alt account that has a little bit more of items on it, there you go. As for the snowy owl, though, yes, I definitely think it's worth it. I am in such a good mood after, like, getting it because, boy, that was a lot of patience, time, energy, and effort. But, you know, get yourself a coffee if you drink coffee, some snacks, and you're good. I have the company of my animals, too. So that's been great. Um, but it's not a true snow owl. However, I still really do love it. I, uh, like, never got the owl in the first place. Those quests didn't really interest me, and that was kind of a point that I wasn't so much into Star Stable. But I, a thousand percent, if you have the time and you want to maybe be nostalgic or just grind and have something to do, maybe you're bored definitely go do it get the snow owl it's amazing i don't know if it's really gonna replace my fox but it definitely if you guys know me it fits my aesthetic so i a thousand percent think it's worth it however it's gonna be different to each individual person and i also really think it like it goes good with hydron like all of it just goes great together so a thousand percent would recommend so yeah, you guys, those were just a couple tips. I might have forgotten some. I don't know. Um, if you guys have any more tips on how you got, you know, the snow owl, like, very quickly below, let me know. If you do this method, you'll pretty much get it in less than nine hours if you're consistent. Um, but besides that, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Which also let me know how many of you guys actually did get the snow owl. Do you guys like it? Personally, like I said, I love it, and he might even replace the fox. Who knows? But yes, thank you guys oh so much for watching. Definitely keep an eye out for more Frisian content, spoilers, all of that jazz, little tips and tricks. I do have some video ideas for, like, the top 10 best updates of 2020, or, like, the best horses of 2020. So keep an eye out for those, and don't forget to subscribe if you like content like this, because I am really trying to post consistently. Even if it might be a little bit later than what I want it to be. I still try, but thank you guys oh so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one, guys. Adios!